Welcome to 2017, Magic users. A little while back, the Clone Forge put out a video featuring decks with no ban list. Here is another one of those gameplays featuring the same matchup. This one is going to be pretty quick, and it is not as epic as you might think at first, but actually it is pretty epic with its smallness. It's actually a pretty fun game all around. Definitely interesting. Real quick, we have Brian playing Rafelos, Lenoir Emissary, Rob playing Leovold, Emissary of Trest, me playing Shroom the Hegemon, and Josh playing Kineo Sintiro of Gnosis. Let's get started. So, because I won the last game, Josh decided he's going first. He has no first turn play. Rob, on the other hand, plays Mana Crypt, Howling Mine, which is sweet in a Leovold deck, Voltaic Key, and Chromox. That's not bad. We draw extra cards in all of our turns, with no one matching Rob's first turn of Insanity, but turn two, Josh does Destructive Revelry Rob's Voltaic Key, just in case he plays Time Vault. He takes two damage. On his turn, Rob casts Little Old Black Lotus, and then Saxon casts his commander, Leovold, Emissary of Trust, but thankfully does not then cast a wheel effect. Also, a turn 2 commander from Brian, but that's not that impressive in our fellow's deck. An even less impressive Talisman of Dominance for me, and then pass without playing Preordain, since it will only scry me to and not draw the extra card since I already drew a card this turn. That Howling Mine is working pretty good for Rob at the moment. It doesn't work anymore though on Josh's turn 3 when he clones Frexy Metamorph after much deliberation. Josh chooses to copy Rob's Leovold, clone count one. Okay, so this is where the game gets interesting, because now with both and Josh having Leovolds, the Leovold is in effect for everyone. Rob Vampire tutors at Josh's end step, losing two life, and then on his next turn, casts Teferi's Puzzle Box. I guess he just wanted a really interesting game. So basically, no more anything from anyone anymore is what happens next. Brian draws and then puts his hand on the bottom of his library. With three power on the field, Brian attacks him for three with his creatures. I draw on my turn and then not draw seven cards. That is a lot of cards not to draw. On his turn, Josh flashes out Snapcaster Mage before he bottoms his hand. And then also attacks me for three since I don't have blockers. I am definitely going to get killed first this game since I'm the only one who doesn't have any creatures. On his turn, Rob also has a Snapcaster Mage, but no blue mana to cast it, so he just bottoms it. Rob doesn't take damage from Mana Crypt this turn, but it is going to be something he's going to have to deal with this game. Okay, so the game continues on with this for many turns, with no one casting spells or keeping cards past their draw steps, meaning they can't play lands, creatures, sorceries, you name it. People go through the phases of attacking and not attacking, Except me since I don't have any creatures. Brian mostly doesn't attack since he only has 3 power and he needs that much to send him to Leovold and if he loses one creature he won't be able to block Leovold at all anymore. Josh continuously attacks him with a Snapcaster Mage since he knows Brian won't block it. Rob takes more damage than everyone else due to his mana crypt. It's not until Josh finally draws the game changing card, <laughs> which is Swords of Plowshares, getting rid of Rob's Leovold drawing him a card and gaining him 3 life. Now Josh can actually draw cards and play lands, which he does and after a few turns he's able to cast his commander and he eventually puts Splinter Twin on a Snapcaster Mage and attacks everyone else with enough damage to kill us all. Good job Josh, although it really was Rob's cards that won that game, the Leovold and Teferi's Puzzle Box, that was just Josh taking advantage of. And that's the game. Probably one of our more interesting ones too. The funny thing here is that the board state was created almost entirely by legal EDH cards. I was hosed pretty much the entire game, but I didn't even really mind because the game was so absurd it was almost kind of fun. That and the turns were all super quick. Okay, so even more reason to ban Leovold. Hope you guys enjoyed. We have one more of these games to post. Stay cool, stay clone.
Okay. So no one could. You have an instant. That'd be sweet. Yeah. I don't know. But you might not have a hand. You could still draw a hand. That's right. I did that. Okay. Uh, any order, right? Any order you want. <coughs> Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, order. Yeah. Any order you want. Fun. And what's funny is this isn't banned. That's totally a legal thing you can do in EDH. 